Tonight, officials say another person has died in Jones County from Sunday's storms. The death toll now stands at 12 in the state. This as the governor and lieutenant governor tore the damage in the Pine Belt. Our Quintus Jones has the story. That's right, here in Jefferson Davis County, the damage is as far as the eyes can see. The governor was on the ground here as people tried to make sense of scenes like this one right here behind me. Tonight, as people across the Pine Belt pick up the pieces, Governor Tate Reeves getting a first-hand look at all the damage in our area. Absolute devastation. Uh, I, don't, I don't know any other way to describe it. The governor says while it's not unusual to have storms like this in April. It is unusual to have tornadoes that are blowing winds over 200 miles an hour. And it is unusual for them to stay on the ground for 40 or 50 or 60 miles. And on top of that, the coronavirus is still a threat. But I want to remind all Mississippians to take precautions, social distance, um, wear masks if at all possible. And, and take care of yourselves and take care of your neighbors. Governor Reeves says he's already asked for an immediate emergency declaration. Currently in Mississippi, we have 11 federally declared emergencies dating all the way back to Hurricane Katrina that are currently open. And five of those have happened in the last 90 days. With many in the state now facing a one-two punch, the governor says we will get through it. We got knocked down and took a tremendous punch in the mouth. We're going to get back up. And we're going to come back bigger and better and stronger. Now, officials say 30 counties are reporting damage in Mississippi. In Jefferson Davis County, I'm Quintus Jones reporting.